The innkeeper looks rather grim. Life in Mordavia has obviously not been kind to him. The barrel serves as a repository for peanut shells, even though relatively few elephants stay at the inn these days. This door leads to the innkeeper's private rooms. This door leads to your bedroom. This is the door to one of the guest rooms. This is the door to one of the... You're in the Hotel Mordavia. It's your basic run-of-the-mill inn. But they forgot the mill and nobody's running too far. It is a plain but well-made chair. You might say it's a sitting pretty. You st You st You get a fine meal of roast duckling a la garlic. The first door at the top of the stairs leads to your room. My wife will serve you supper in the evening. They stare at you in astonishment. You say you are a hero. Well, we will judge you here by your actions rather than your words. Magic is a very dangerous thing. We do not trust those who use or are used by magic. Make certain you do not give us any more cause for alarm. It's an anti-gravity machine. Well, maybe not exactly, but it does keep food and drinks from falling to the floor. The Hotel Mordavia has been in my family for generations. It is the only place to be when darkness falls at night. Everything else is closed, and even we lock the doors. You must knock if you wish to come in. My name is Yuri Markarov. My wife's name is Bella. We are the owners of this inn. If you climb the stairs, your room is the first door on the right. The doors of the inn close before nightfall, so make sure you are always back before sunset. Make certain you are back in town before dusk. The gates of the town will close solidly to keep out any dangers. The Burgomeister is the mayor of the town. You will be wise to listen to what he says and stay out of trouble. There is not much for sale at the shop next door, but you may find something you need there. The monastery is to the north of here. It has been abandoned for many, many years, but it has a bad reputation. No one in town will go near it, and if you have any sense, neither will you. There are many ill things that roam this valley by night. Make certain that you never have to meet them. Never venture into the forest by night. That didn't do it. You hear the sound of silence. As you start to open the door, you realize that this is the innkeeper's room. You quickly close it again before you get caught. You better not do that. Your hand might get stepped on by an elephant. You reach out to shake hands with the innkeeper. He just sort of stands there. After a few seconds, you lower your hand in embarrassment. It doesn't burn. Nothing like warming your hands by a cozy fire. I am Hans. Pleasure's all yours. I'm a farmer of pumpkins and corn and a person of great importance here in lovely Mordavia. Listen, I'm telling you, Igor's death must be avenged. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ivan, an elephant herder. 
Unfortunately, there are no more elephants in Mordavia, so business has kind of fallen off a tad. Guys, is it just me or is Mordavia a wonderful place? Oh, are you kidding? It's the greatest. There's many places to go, things to see. Are you kidding? Right. Let's not forget that scenic cemetery to the east of town. Everyone here is nothing but grins. Real friendly. Yeah, except we don't know you. We don't like strangers. Or anyone else that's weird and doesn't belong. Rumors? You talking to me? What rumors? Huh. There are no rumors here. Unless you count the rumor that the castle is owned by... Horse Patootie. There are no rumors in Mordavia to speak of. The town of Mordavia is a quiet place. Filled with friendly, joyful, stinky people. Well, I'm not so sure about the friendly part. We tend to be very suspicious of strangers like you. Yeah, well, anyway, the town is filled with joyful and stinky people. Yeah, happy, joyful, and stinky people. Well, I wouldn't call us particularly joyful. As a matter of fact, most of us are pretty glum. Oh, very well, all right, then Mordavia is filled with people, you know, stinky ones. Yeah, many stinky people. Well, I wouldn't exactly call it many. There actually aren't very many of us around here. Oh, forget it. Well, at least he stinks. You unlock the door to your room and go in. The furnishings are sparse, but the bed isn't bad and the room seems pretty clean. The lamp dimly illuminates your bedroom. Lamp oil is included in the rent. Garlic braids festoon the room, adding that certain special ambiance of Gilroy in the spring to the room. This large chest is a good place to store equipment you don't need to carry around with you. The furnishings are sparse, but the bed... The candle provides a supplementary light source to economize on lamp oil. It's a braided circular rug, apparently mass-produced. The window opens out onto the back of the inn. A narrow ledge runs under it on the outside. The bed is adequate, but nothing to take home with you. It looks like... The bed is adequate, but not... After you leave, they'll probably put a plaque on it, reading something like, Hero slept here. Assuming, that is, that you leave in one piece and with your throat intact. Not necessarily a good assumption. It looks like one of those hollow bedposts they like to use in mystery stories. The window open. You light the lamp. You light the candle. You take a clove of garlic in case you meet an Italian chef somewhere. Getting tired. You have the feeling you are being watched. You see a small, hairy, sad-looking creature. 